it's Nat from Little Crazy Things uh, back with another tutorial today I'm going to be doing the basket weave stitch um, so that's this one here this one I made in DK paint box yarn cotton and I shared it on Instagram um, as part of my 100 days of crochet stitches today though I'll be doing a tutorial using this spotlight Abbey Road yarn in Kung Fu cotton uh, this colour is called Fanta, it's their new yarn, I haven't used it before so it feels really nice, can't wait to try it. And this is my 5mm clover hook so that's what I'll be using for the tutorial and we'll be doing the basket weave stitch. Okay, let's start. Okay, the basket weave stitch is worked in multiples of 6 plus 4. So I'm going to start by doing a chain of 16, 18 sorry, and then adding 4. Six, twelve, eighteen. So there we go. So multiples of six plus four for turning. Four. Now we're going to work into the foundation chain and we're going to do a DC in every stitch across, so a double crochet. Starting from the fourth chain from the hook. So I work in the little bumps. You can work into the little loops if you prefer, but I just like working into the bumps. So let's do a DC fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. And then in every chain across, we're just going to work one DC. Oh, I know this is a bit boring to watch. So just get our foundation row done and then we can start doing the actual stitch itself. I'm using a 5mm hook with this yarn. And I think you could easily go up to a 6mm hook. I feel like it's catching a bit. It's an iron weight of cotton. It's really nice to work with. Very squishy. It's going to be a very squishy fabric blanket if I was to make it all in this cotton. I love cotton. It's my favourite crochet fibre. Nearly finished. And one more. I like to work over my tail and tuck it in so last DC tuck in the tail and pull just keeps that tail out of the way okay so you've done your DCs for the first row and you'll just keep the my swatch is very small so if you're doing a blanket you just DC in every single one of your chains across now to start the actual stitch. So at the end of every row we're going to chain two and turn. Now a basket weave consists of three front post GCs and three back post GCs and we're going to alternate. So instead of normally you'd work into these, let's move my hand, work into these little V's at the top. But for basket weave we're going to work around the posts. So these are the posts, yeah, and we're going to work around them, so around here instead of at the top here. So if you've never done a front post or a back post do you see it, you'll watch it and I'll show you how it's done. So yarn over, we're going to not worry about this first here, this is just the border. So yarn over, insert your hook in between first post and the second post, bring your hook behind and out, 
So your hook is now around the post and peeking out the other side. Yarn over, bring up a loop, and that's it. Now you're going to finish the DC. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's your front post DC. So we're going to do three of them. So that's one, yarn over, insert your hook through the front and around the post. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more, yarn over, in through the front, around the post and out. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Three front post DCs. Now we're going to do three back post DCs, which creates that weave effect, so out, in, out, in. Okay, now to do the back, we're going to do these three, we're going to do back post DC. So we're going to yarn over, and this time we're going to go around the back of our work and out. Put our hook in front of the post and through to the back. So you're just doing it on the reverse now, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over, through two loops. So you see, go through the back, let's do it again, yarn over, through the back, hook in front of the post and back out, through the other side. Yarn over, pull through a loop to the back, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Third one, yarn over, through the back, round the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Three front, three back, now we go through three front post DCs again. So yarn over through the front this time, hook behind, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So it's called front post because the post is in front of the hook and then the post is behind the hook. So yarn over through the front, post is in front of the hook, front post, Pull up a loop, finish the DC, pull through two, pull through two. One more, yarn over, insert through the front, around, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, that's three. So you see how we've started to create that basket type weave, so these ones are in front, they're behind, these ones are in front, and then we're going to do three behind here, in front, behind, and you're going to do this the whole way across your fabric. So I'll go slowly again, I'm going to do three at the back, yarn over, through the back, hook is in front, post is behind, back post, see, yarn over, Pull up a loop, yarn over, through two, through two, through the back, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Back post I find a lot harder. Um, you want to make sure you're holding down your work so you can get that loop through because sometimes it can get a bit stuck and a bit tricky to pull it through. You can also turn your work to see what you're doing. It might be easier. So yarn over, through the back, around the post. Sorry, that's through the front. My mistake. Confused myself. Yarn over, through the back, around the post. Now see if you turn your work like this. Pull up a loop, it's easier to see what you're doing. Through two, pull through two. Through back. So now I do three front, which is quicker. Yarn over, through the front, around. Pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. 
yarn over through the front, around, yarn over, pull up a loop, two, pull through two, one more, pull through two, pull through two, and we got three final posts here, and do three back posts, yarn over, through the back, around the post, turn it, so you can see, hold down, there you go. Around the back, around the back, see? Oops. Pull through two, yarn over, through the back, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, and now we're going to finish every single row by working a DC into the starting chain two and that's just going to create a nice clean edge of our work and hold it all together so DC into into the top of the final chain two and there you go there's your first row so you can see the weave effect there has started turn it and it will be the opposite on the other side And you can see how it creates such a thick, squishy texture fabric for this stitch. Okay, so let's continue with the next round. Okay, so to start a new round, we're going to chain two, one, two, and turn our work. And now we're going to do the same as the row below. So what I mean by that is we're going to do three front post DCs on top of these stitches, three back posts on top of those, three front posts, just following what stitches are in the row below. So we're working through those posts now. Every second row will be the same as the row below it and then we'll switch. So yarn over, we're going to do three front posts through the front, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, through the front, round, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm just going to get some more yarn so I'm not pulling. It's a lot easier to work once you've got fabric instead of working just into the foundation. Yarn over, so you hook through the front, around the back, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, now we're going to do three back posts just like the row below. So yarn over, through the back, around, out, yarn over, pull up a loop, through two, pull through two, yarn over, so you hook through the back, out, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, through the back, around, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and just continue the whole row like this. So I'll just keep going. Three front, yarn over, through the front, around, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, through the front, around, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, through the front, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, three back, yarn over, three the back, around the post, pull up a loop, three, three two, yarn over, through the back, around the post, Pull up a loop, 
pull through two, pull through two, yarn over through the back, around the post, pull up a loop, two, and back to the front post, yarn over, sorry, yarn over through the front, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over through the front, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, you're going to be hearing this in your sleep now, <laughs> yarn over through the front, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and last one, yarn over through the back, around, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over through the back, around the post, pull up a loop, two, two, last one, so here you got your last back post and your starting chain, so yarn over through the back, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and then finish by DC into the second chain and that's it so there we go that's your first set of the wave done look at that and we'll look at the other side isn't this yarn beautiful even this colour I don't use orange much but it's very pretty okay so that's the first I'd say weave of the basket weave. So now what we're going to do is we're going to alternate the pattern to give that weave effect. So to show you with this one, we just did the pink row and now we're going to do the purple row. So you see how the weave changes from that's being back post. Now we're going to move them to front post and bring the front post to the back to create this almost like bricks as well. Bricks do this as well. So now we're going to change it. Now if you were doing two different colours, you'd get this effect here with this line and because we're doing a solid colour, you're not going to see that. So I'm just going to do that right now. So start a new row, chain two, and turn. Okay, so how we do this is now we're going to move all the stitches to the other side. So we've got three front post DCs at the beginning here. We're going to turn them into back post DCs. So yarn over and instead of going and doing another front post, we're going to turn it into a back post. So we're going to go through the back, around the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So now you've turned to that front post into a back post. Yarn over, around the back, pull through two. Yarn over, around the back, pull through two, pull through two. Made that one a little bit tight. Okay, so there we go. We've made three front posts and we've turned them into three back posts. And now these three back posts, we're going to bring them to the front. So yarn over through the front, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over through the front, around the post, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two through the front, pull up a loop, two, two, and there you've brought those back DCs to the front and see how we're starting to alternate the weave now. So I'll keep going, I'll try to do it a little bit faster so I don't completely bore you. Yarn over through the back, we're bringing these front posts to the back. Pull up a loop, two, two. Another back post, around the back, back post, through the back, 
Notice how I use my other finger to kind of move the stitch for me as well. It helps pull it through. Okay, three front posts. One, two, three. Bring these front posts to the back. Now see how I've used my other hand to push the stitch post out of the way with the back post, it just makes it easier too. So, one, two back posts. Yarn over through the back. Three back posts. Believe it or not, once you get going, this pattern work, this stitch works up really quickly. Especially in Aran weight yarn like I'm using. I reckon you could get a blanket, especially a baby blanket done really quickly. And that's the last one. And DC into the second chain to finish. Whoops, we oh, got caught there, sorry. Do it again. DC into the second chain to finish, okay. So you can see that now, how we've changed the weave to go the opposite way and it will look the same in the back except the other way around. There we go. So I'm going to do one more row just so you can see the full effect. Chain two, turn, and now with every the same as every second row, we're not going to change the stitches up, we're going to do it exactly the same. So every second row is the same. So what I mean by that is we're going to keep these as three back posts, keep these as three front, three back, three front, three back, three front, the whole way. Okay, so every second row mirrors the row below it. Every third row we alternate the weave. Second row mirror, third row alternate. So we just did a third row which was an alternating row and now we're doing the second row which is mirror so I hope that makes sense okay so three back posts we're going to keep them as back posts one two three Back post, now three front posts. Just the same as the row before. So I like this stitch also because it can become mindless crochet, but you're also changing it enough between the front post and the back post to keep some interest there. Three back posts now. Especially when you're doing um, multicolours and you're changing it. Three front posts, one, two, around the front, three, and now three back posts, around the back, around the back. I could easily have got to a six millimeter hook with this yarn. And around the front. Just want to show you how this looks. Last one, and then DC into the chain two to finish. So there we go. How beautiful is that? Can you see it's so much texture in this stitch? And if you're like me, I love a stitch that's got some texture. And so squishy. This yarn is beautiful. Okay, so that's that's in one colour. And this is what my sample looks like in multicolours. So we've done 
if you look at this, we've done the pink and the purple row. Okay, so all you're going to do is repeat that for your whole blanket now. So if we were to do another row, we'd alternate the stitch. So how about we do that now? I'll just do a quick row, another lot. I actually I'll do a whole nother weave so you can get the idea of what I mean. So now we've done one weave, two weaves, and now let's do a third weave for the basket effect. Okay, now to do the next row, chain two. Turn your work and now we're going to do an alternating row so these three back posts we're going to bring to the front these three front posts we're going to bring to the back and so on so we're going to alternate it so yarn over the back post we're going to do three front posts around the front pull through two yarn over around the front pull up a loop Pull through two, pull through two, yarn over around the front, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So we brought those back loops, back posts, and brought them to the front. Now these three front posts of the previous row, we're going to take to the back. So yarn over through the back, around the post, and out. See that the post behind the hook at the back, it's a back post, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over through the back, so the post is at the back, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over through the back, post is at the back, pull through two, pull through two. So we're doing an alternating row, yarn over, bring these posts to the front, so through the front, post is up the front, pull up a loop, through two, two, through the front, post is up the front, two front posts, bring this back post to the front, pull through two, Pull through two, sorry my yarn's catching on the box. Okay, three these front posts to the back, through the back, posters at the back, pull through two, pull through two, bring the post to the back, bring post to the back. Now we're going to bring these three back posts to the front. Sorry, I keep moving the work to make it move closer to my face, which brings it closer to the camera, which isn't helping you guys. Post is at the back. Through the back. Post is at the back. Okay, last step. We're going to bring these front posts to the... Oops, look what I just did, see? I instead just copied the bottom row. So see, that's a good chance to show you what would happen while we're alternating it. So I just messed up these three stitches. I don't know if anybody's watching it going, wait, stop now, what are you doing? Um, this is why we alternate them. So if I was to keep going, like I just did and stuffed up there, that's what happens. So frog, it's real time. Here you go. I'm not going to edit this out. Frog it back. So let's start again. I just brought those front posts to the back. Now I want to bring these back posts to the front, through the front. And 
through the front. There we go, that's right, Nat. Well done. Can't even get it right for the tutorial. <laughs> How's that? Oh well, that's real life, so I'm not going to edit that out. We all make mistakes. Easily fixed, one of the things I love about crochet. Okay, let's bring these front posts to the back. And you can clearly see it when you do make a mistake with this stitch because it starts looking a bit odd. So keep checking your work. Okay, and finish off with a DC in the chain two. And there we go. I hope you followed that mistake and all. But see how it's really taking effect this stitch now. I'll do one more row just to finish off with a nice square. So all the weaves are the same size. So chain two and turn just like I did then. And we're just going to mirror the row below for this one. So we're going to keep these as three front posts. We're going to keep them as three back posts. So yarn over front post, just like the row below, front post DC, post is at the front, and I just caught on to the other stitch, front post is at the front, and three back posts, one around the back, two around the back three mirror the row below three front posts two posts at the front three now three back posts Go behind, around the post, there it is, at the back. One, around the back, two, around the back, three, and three front posts, around the front, one, around the front, two, around the front, three, and the last row, three back bows. One, two, three, and finish with a DC into the chain two. Put my hook down. And there we go. Basket weave stitch. Just move it around so you can see all the texture in this stitch. The other side. Which is just as nice as the back. So there's no back or front to this work. It's going to look the same on either side. So that's in the solid colour in the Spotlight Yarns Abbey Road Kung Fu Cotton. I used a 5mm hook. could easily use a 6mm hook with this yarn. And this is my Pink Pox DK Cotton from Love Crochet. And I used a 3mm hook for this one that's quite tight but you'd normally use a four millimeter hook I'd say and that's it in rainbow colors so that's it that's the basket weave tutorial I hope you enjoyed that and it made sense and you followed it and I'm sorry for my mistake there that I made but all good all easily fixed um, if you like this tutorial let me know in the comments if there's any stitch that you'd like to see me make let me know um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at little cozy things I'll put details in the caption 
and join in with my 100 days of crochet stitches that I'm doing at the moment. So I'll have another tutorial coming soon. Um, and thank you. Okay, bye.